I am offering you a chance to atone for what you have done to help eradicate an entire criminal organization for good. What exactly are you asking me to do? Did you ever tell anyone anything that I should be worried about? Your problem for my problem. The last time I saw someone get in his way, Baxter shot him in the head. Tread very carefully right now. Anger is where I want to live. Anger is where I flourish. It is such a good show. How far would you go to protect what matters to you most? That is the question at the center of the hit Showtime series, Your Honor, starring and executive produced by Brian Cranston, with Rosie Perez now joining the cast in a guest starring role. Anticipation for season two is high after season one ranked as Showtime's top debut season ever. And Brian Cranston and Rosie Perez both join us now. Guys, it's so great to see you. Congratulations on season two, Brian. Uh, I loved season one of the show. Season two starts streaming today. The first thing people are going to notice, fans of the series, is the beard. And I wanted to ask you <laughs> why we find you with the beard, but I don't know if that gives away too much about where we find uh, the judge at the beginning of season two. So tell us a little bit, of, if you can, about where he is right now. Well, uh, good morning, Willie. Good to see you. Um, you too, the, the ending of season one was tragic. Everything changed in this man's life. And so we wanted to explore what it would be like to have a character go through the reality of that tragic loss the the despair and the pain and the grief and um so part of that was that he's lost his desire to for grooming for self-care for anything and he just lets everything go um so we thought the look would be a nice juxtaposition between how he looked in the first season and true or false that is your own beard you grew on yourself brian it, it is it is true much to my wife's chagrin it was it was my own beard and hair yes it does get a little unruly there for a while you, you bring it back together now rosie i'm so excited that you've joined the series do i have this right that you get an email from brian on a friday and on monday you're on set with him doing the show yes yes he's wow a, yeah it wasn't it wasn't very nice of him, but yes, <laughs> it was. Uh, I was terrified, but after several hours of him charming the pants off of me, I said yes. Um, you know, he said he was going to take care of me, and that he did. Ah, let's now, wait watch a second, a, Rosie. You're using uh, uh, you're using some words that are just not appropriate now. I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I don't think she meant it that way, but yeah, okay. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a clip out there just to move on um, from the second season of Your Honor, featuring part of a decisive and critical conversation that helps really set up the entire season. Take a look. You didn't talk about nothing, Michael. Come on. Heaven. Talked about heaven. Really. Okay. And what did you and Carla talk about? So you're just watching me. What did you and Carla talk about? Have I given you the impression that any of this is optional? I don't know why you're trying to push me. Seriously? Everything you know about the Baxters, everything you've seen them do, it... Honestly, it's just driving me a little crazy that I have to persuade you to take them down. Well, that's because you still think that justice is something you can achieve. Yes, I do. But all I'm worried about right now is what those people still plan to do and all the evil that is planning to come. Why do you care so much? Why don't you care at all? <laughs> you guys are great together. And uh, Rosie, I want to ask you about your character, but also I'd like to put out to both of you, Rosie, what is it like working with Brian? And Brian, what is it like working with Rosie? Tell us something we don't know about the other. Rosie, you go first. Um, that Brian is a closeted goofball. And um, 
very, very funny. Um, and maybe everyone does know this. He's extremely kind. Mm. That's nice. Well, now I wow. have to say something nice. I was going to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, she is a consummate actor because on her first day, which was two days after she accepted the role, she was as nervous as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. And <laughs> but you'd never know. it. She pulled it off. It was like she puts on a, that acting veneer and it was like ready to go mm. and i said that was fantastic and she exhaled and said i was so nervous no one you wouldn't that's amazing yeah. so now rosie tell us uh, dig into your character if you could for us Okay, Olivia um, is a federal assistant district attorney, and her main objective is bring down the uh, Baxter crime family. And she understands that Michael Desiato, which is Brian Cranston's character, is the key. And she is not going to treat him with kid gloves because he was a former judge or because he experienced an immense amount of loss. She is going to do what she needs to do, manipulate him within the rule of law law um, to get what she wants. Hey, Brian. Uh, yes. Brian, it's She's a great... just uh, a very delightful person to be around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sort of seems it. Uh, Brian, the cast is obviously uh, terrific, uh, but it occurs to me that one of the real stars of the show, we can see it come through, even in the clips we're playing right now, is the city of New Orleans. Talk to us about the city and the role that it plays in setting sort of this evocative mood uh, for the series. You know, the backdrop of any story is is more than just scenery. It, it, we want to get into the culture, and New Orleans offers such a rich, deep history of culture, of music, of food and spirits, both the spirits you drink and the spirits that may haunt you. Um, and it is, it, it is vitally important to be able to feel it, and we wanted to get a sense of the city and it's in its citizens and and the potholes and the and the the moisture in the air and i mean it was just it, it's an incredible place and and great crews down there and the people are very hospitable it's it's a it's a really really beautiful city to shoot in it's a great setting for a great show that just got even better with the addition of Rosie Perez. It's called Your Honor. It's on Showtime, available right now, as I said, on demand and streaming, and then airs Sunday so cool. nights at 9 p.m. Brian Cranston, Rosie Perez. Look at that shot of you, Brian. My Lord, on the poster. That beard is just <laughs> utterly out of control. He always looks certifiable. <laughs> All right. Thank you Guys, both. Guys, thank very you much. both. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning.